Big developments in the case of the notorious BTK serial killer. The Osage County Sheriff calling him a prime suspect in the disappearance of a Bahuska woman in 1976. New photos of the BTK killer's drawings have also been released, hoping someone will recognize the victim or the barns in the drawings. Two News Oklahoma's Shea Smith sat down with the Osage County Sheriff to talk about these new developments. It was 1976 when Cynthia Kinney was last seen at the laundromat in Pawhuska. Her disappearance perplexing law enforcement agencies in Osage County and eventually turning cold. I'd looked into that case prior years and years ago and then we've, we've actually looked into it two other times before this. Her body also never found, leaving this small community shocked and always wondering. I've even had some say, you know, we've wondered for all this time, you know, because Wichita is just right there. You know, he had killed, he had killed young, young girls there. Osage County Sheriff Eddie Verdon says he thinks there's one person who knows what happened. I actually was watching a documentary on him, first time that I would really ever noticed it. And from the previous times that I've looked at this case and, and, and pursued it, those items started jumping out at me. The documentary was about Dennis Rader, the BTK killer. An abbreviation, Rader gave himself standing for bind, torture, and kill. For murders that span from 1974 to 1991, Rader is serving 10 consecutive life sentences in Kansas. Sheriff Verdon went to talk with Rader earlier this year, who told him about nine of the murders. Then Verdon says the BTK killer going back to that cat and mouse game. At the time, you'll think, well, that didn't make any sense at all. And then you do some more research and bam, something something comes out and you realize he was actually relaying something just basically to see if, if you'd pick up on it. And as the sheriff was wrapping up, Raider detailed a fantasy, blowing Kenny's case wide open. And then he said, would you, you want to know one of my favorite fantasies that I never got to do? And I said, sure, why not? And he said, I always want to kidnap a girl from a laundromat. He said that to you? He said that to me. And, and of course, we hadn't revealed anything. So, you know, I, I, I tried my best basically not to uh, not, not show the, the, the shock of that. So I said, you know, if you, if, if you would have ever got to do that fantasy, how would you have done it? And he said he would have watched the laundromat till she was in there by herself. Went in with a rouge, had her help him get something from his car, and when we got her to the car, he'd have her, nobody would see her here in. Bad Wash Day was a project in a journal recovered in 2005 that belongs to Raider, detailing kidnappings, tortures, and bindings. It's evidence police say that links BTK to the murders and possibly unsolved cases as well. Officials recently released recovered drawings, hoping that someone recognizes the barns or victims in an effort to solve even more cases potentially committed by the BTK killer. In Pawhuska, Shea Smith, Two News, Oklahoma.